Come 29th May, the 14th Governor of Lagos State will take a bow from his exalted office and many Lagosians would stand up for the champion. Hello and welcome to Inside Lagos. I'm Ade Doja, Salam Adeni. In the next half hour, we will show you how Governor Kimu Miambode is sustaining governance till his last day in office. Don't go anywhere. If I carry you go banana, my guy, you go love Lagos. If I carry you go to a Lagos, you go love Lagos. If I carry you go, you know my guy, you go love Lagos. Sepa sepa see the police, governor Amba Joko Foshi. Helicopter low for low you cannot deny you no see. Father, que si la rente mi chat Oh, mon que si wale ba Go du kopa kopa la rente mi chat It tells you what you call la rente mi wa You never finish, I love I don't get new motto You never finish, yeah, you tell you yeah, you see what's go Oh, you go, eh, you call the one, oh, you go Oh, you go, why are you speaking, oh, you go if I carry you go, you catch up my guy. You go love Lagos, yo. If I carry you go, but I be my guy. You go love Lagos, yo. If I carry you go to Lagos Island, you go love Lagos, yo. Ele jama, ele tiko, ele baje no. If I carry you go, go to Dubai, you go love Lagos. If I carry you go to work by my car, you go love Lagos. If I carry you go, you just see my car, you go love Lagos. Check my check my city police, governor Amba Joko Foshi, helicopter low for low key. You cannot deny you don't see. Step by step, I see the police. Governor Amba Joko Foshi. Helicopter low for low key. You cannot deny you don't see. Lagos State Governor Akimu Miambode has inaugurated the Elijah Road, Bariga Waterfront Jetty and new ferries. This is in furtherance of the intermodal transportation system of the state government. Inside Lagos was there. Have a listen. It is not by accident that Lagos is called the land of aquatic splendor. 25% of its entire space is covered by water. But its abundant water resource neither impacts its economy nor enhances its transportation system. With at least 86 people entering the state every hour, the traffic situation can be chaotic. This explains why the state government is opening up the waterways to decongest the road. Construction of jetties, channelization of waterways and removal of water hyacinth are also part of the plans. This new jetty is situated opposite the lagoon front facing the third mainland bridge. It is at the end of the newly upgraded 1.1 km long Elijah Road, which provides access to the terminal from Akoka Road and sits on a reclaimed land area of more than 2,000 square meters. Named Bariga Waterfront Jetty, the ferry terminal is to scale up the integrated transportation system 
aimed at ensuring seamless connectivity within the state. The new road will serve as a very good access road to this jetty, as well as opening up this community. The Barriga jetty will serve as a terminal where people in this part of our state can access ferry services and easily get to other jetties at Ikorodu, Marina, Falomo, and Badore in Aja. The state of the art terminal sitting on the reclaimed area of over 200 meters squared has a parking facility that will accommodate no fewer than 150 cars, ample space for park and ride buses. For those that would prefer to park their cars and bus and be on the, uh, on the, on the ferries. Um, we've just um, commenced with distribution of life jackets across the various divisions of the state, as you know. Um, and apart from the life jacket um, distribution as well, we're also ensuring that we're doing a lot of awareness on how people can know that, look, once you have the life jackets on board, you are very safe. Also commissioning five ferries, two of 40 seaters, two of 60 seaters, and a car bar that will ferry 16 cars at a go. Governor Bode said the site of the jetty used to be a dump site that recorded serious security challenges in the state. This place was more or less like a cultist ground and was also a dump site. And then because of the security challenge I faced in 2015 and through 2016 in this community, I felt the best is to turn the place around for them. So we decided to do the road, we decided to provide this jetty and also provide the, the ferries and then also enhance our integrated uh, transportation modal system. That's all that we have done and I'm happy at least we are starting it. The next government, Jiri Songwulu, should be able to continue and scale it up and that's the whole essence of continuity. We cannot continue to travel by road alone. That's the whole idea. It's wrong, it's not right and then you know we need to now develop rail develop water transportation system and even the walkways more people walk on the streets than the people driving cars and that's why you say we continue to provide walkways provide bus stops ferry services would be provided to connect existing terminals such as ikbakodo badori kurudu badori aja five cowries creek in falomo marina ibutero and apapa out of 24 million people resident in lagos only 1.5 million commute we are the waterways monthly. The average daily Lagos traffic remains 3.2 million vehicles. Hence, the need to construct jetties like this, provide boats and life jackets to enhance safety. Of the five new ferries the governor unveiled, four are passenger ferries that can accommodate between 40 to 60 passengers, while the fifth ferry is the car barge, which has the capacity to take between 16 to 20 cars at a time on water. All of these ferries are named after towns, cities, you know, deities to commemorate the remembrance of our cultural and historical heritage. You have the Itaisiwaju Ikuleko, which is a slogan that is adopted by the Akemumia administration to say that the progress of Lagos is a concern of all and sundry. The Ejiri, the famous Ejiri, Okoko Ejiri, Egbegberu Alo, of course, the Pakodo. The Pakodo is a notable jetty in Lagos. The Adamo Orisha to commemorate the very famous, celebrated, you know, festival in Lagos and so many other ones. The good people of the Niger Bariga community and Bariga STD and Shomu local government, all and all Lagosians will never, will ever remember Your Excellency for the construction at this sighting of this ultra-modern jetty at the Niger Bariga community for the sole purpose of easing water transportation in Lagos. Other facilities at the ferry terminal include parking area for at least 150 cars, ticketing office, sleepway, waiting areas, toilets, security watch towers, and a police post. <laughs> Now from Bariga to Igondo, Ikotun local council development area, Governor Akimu Miambode says as he gets set to exit office, his administration has succeeded in its quest to transform the infrastructural landscape of Lagos State. 
One of the projects inaugurated in Igodu by Governor Abadi is the Agric Access Road, Egon. He says in constructing this road, the state government considered the need to make commuting stress-free for pedestrians and motorists with wider roads, walkways, adequate and covered drains. The unveiling of the Agric Road, Bamidele Kasali, Dosu, Ekuni Road today is a testimony to our passion to make our people happier, our roads better, and our states safer. By this action, we are providing critical and needed infrastructure as well as reciprocating the support our government has enjoyed from this constituency in the last four years. We are optimistic that roads constructed around this corridor will create direct and indirect employment, increase connectivity that will open the communities along this axis and ultimately boost commerce, boost trade and investment opportunities. The governor will also flag off the construction of a link bridge connecting Egon and Ayobo communities, said its administration had delivered on its promise to run an inclusive government that would leave no resident and area behind. When my administration came into office, one of our cardinal promises was a government of inclusion. We committed to a government where nobody, community of people, will be left behind. As a result, we were determined to address the challenges of gross infrastructure, infrastructural de deficit, or the issues relating to flooding and erosion, which the people around this senatorial zone have lived with for so some time now. He thanked Lagosians for their support and prayers particularly in the discharge of the civic responsibility. This infrastructure are jointly owned by the people of this community and Lagos State Government because they have been put in place with our tax resources. Therefore, protecting them will further encourage the government to do more. Our government is very grateful to all Lagosians for their prayers and support, particularly in the discharge of their civic responsibility through the payment of their taxes. Next was the unveiling of a 500-seater capacity Igondo theater. It is the second after the Lagos theater built in Oregon and inaugurated by President Muhammadu Buhari in April. The 400-seater capacity theater being commissioned today will serve as medium for the transfer of our history and cultural heritage from generation to generation. It's going to provide cross-cultural exchange and diversity and inclusion. It will also generate conversations on both local and international media and opportunity and avenues for school tours and then all the other creativity activities that are amongst school children and every other person. <laughs> Aside from providing a platform for performances, which would bring revenue to artists and entertainers, it is expected to create opportunities for the tourism and hospitality sectors in the host community and Lagos in general. Our state is not only the nation's hub of commercial and economic activities, but it's also the entertainment hub. We want to take this state to the next level and provide the infrastructure that will support the growth of this sector. The vision is to have these theatres busy with performances, which will bring revenue to artists and entertainers. This will in turn create opportunities for the tourism and hospitality sectors. They can showcase their talent and that can take the arts and the theatre industry across Lagos. Uh, you don't really have to go to the island every time before you enjoy a good show. And Your Excellency has made this possible that to show that every corner of Lagos, every Lagosian is important. And, and that's why this project is of great importance to us in the arts. We can now take the arts everywhere because the art is the soul of every city.
right framework has been set for the art and entertainment industry to thrive. And the next level is to use it to grow the GDP of Lagos. And that's what this infrastructure is all about. And you can see the talent, you see the energy of these younger people, the way they have just displayed here. And you can imagine if we are able to permit secondary schools and primary schools in this axis, and you develop younger people to be able to use their talent for the betterment of society. Residents hope the project would help upgrade their standard of living. And Vice President Yemi Oshibadjo joined Governor Akimu Miambode at the inauguration of the new Senate building of the Lagos State University, Lasso. Both are optimistic the ultra-modern edifice would enhance academic activities and change the landscape of the institution. Academic possession opens the Lagos State University Lasso 23rd Convocation Ceremony. For Africa to attain excellence and free from poverty, Vice President Yemi Oshibaju and the former Ghanaian president said education is the key. One, education. Two, education. Three, education. The truth is, the truth is that education is the most powerful force for socioeconomic change in the world. The UNESCO Global Foundation, Global Education Monitoring Project, the Learning Generation Report, which they uh, generated, provides important evidence on the impact of education on the individual's earnings and economic growth. They found, amongst other things, that one, education reduces poverty. 171 million people could be lifted out of extreme poverty if all children left school with basic reading skills. African universities must move away from the colonial system of university education, which concentrated on the grammar school education in humanities and classics. I believe African universities must focus on science, technology, and innovation. Our universities must concentrate on courses and programs that are relevant to our environment and that can assist the sustained progress of our societies. This is Governor Kim Miambode's last visit in his capacity as the governor of Lagos State to this university. Reeling out his achievements in the school, the governor said he is leaving with pride. Our last were the backlog of um, release results. The subvention by government was no longer sufficient. The infrastructure needed serious rehabilitation. And there were incessant industrial and student conflicts. We were determined to put an end to all this. Today, there's an atmosphere of peace and industrial harmony in Lasso. The backlog of results have been cleared and our students are graduating every year. Stepping out in flying colors, we have embarked on an extensive infrastructural development which has entailed upgrading, upgrading the network of roads within the institution and installation of streetlights across the campus. Your Excellency allowed the governing council of the university to perform their roles and responsibilities. And that is why LASU is what it is today. I especially congratulate... Chancellor of the institution, Justice Adeshola Ogunsade, conferred on the graduates, awards of postgraduate diploma, academic and professional master's degree, and doctor of philosophy in various disciplines and specializations. The new Senate building, a project started by my predecessor, Mr. Babajide Raji Foshola. Joined by the governor-elect of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, Governor Ambadi and his visitors inaugurate the Lagos State University Senate building. Still on infrastructure development, Lagos State Governor has inaugurated dualized Bisola Duro Simieti Road and new Akim Dixon Road in Leki, Etiosa. We were there. To the mic, to the mic, to the mic, and service of mankind. The governor was represented by the Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure, Ade Akinsonya. He said his administration had given the access the attention it deserved in terms of considering its proximity to the Lekki Free Trade Zone. This assist it is deserve infrastructural development. Our passion and focus on this corridor was anchored on the reality that this assist is the new Lagos and Lekki Phase 1 in particular is the gateway to the biggest 
free trade zone and the whole of West Africa. According to him, the roads were in bad shape as they were riddled with potholes which impeded free flow of traffic. The two roads, as you can see to, today, are ready and already being used to connect the sprawling lake area. They are now they now serve to manage the corresponding increase in human activities, especially the high volume of human and vehicular traffic, including commercial activities. The combined length of the two roads is 2,660 meters. The Solar Draw Cement Drive and Akim Dixon Road are very important because of their traffic bearing capacity within Lekki Phase 1. Works commenced simultaneously on the two roads in 2017. On this other road cemetery drive, the scope of works carried out included the cleaning of the secondary collector drain, installation of 13 culverts, installation of drains and service dots, placement of interlocking paving stones, installation of street lights, lane marking, and installation of speed breakers for safety. Others commended Governor Body for relocating the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency response units within Lekki to respond to emergencies. Lekki, the flagship of the Lagos State Government Residential Scheme, has been duly, has been lucky to attract the attention of successive governors from the regime of former Governor Ahmed Bola Chinumbu through Governor Pashola and the current outgoing governor, Ake Wambadi. Particularly, it was during the four-year tenure of Ambadi that the reconstruction of the Freedom Way and part of Admiralty Way were done. The projects were executed with high-standard engineering, reflecting durable interlocking stones, good drainage, street lights, and other modern road architecture. The Agege Stadium in Lagos burst with excitement last Saturday as top African and Nigerian football legends honored Governor Akimu Miambode with a testimonial match. Watch this. Nigerian football legends and other African football legends lit up the Agege Stadium during a testimonial match in honor of Lagos State Governor Akimu Miambode. The African legend team had players like El Ajidu, Titi Kamara, and former Black Stars player Steven Apia. The game had the biggest Nigerian stars coached by Olympic gold medal winning coach Johannes Bonfrey. The Nigerian team had Austin Okocha, Kano Wakwo, Peter Rufai, and Emmanuel Amunike. Kano Wakwo scored the opening goal in a game that ended. 4-4. I'm very glad to be here and I want to say thanks to all the people starting from the president to the governor to all the guys who make Wahid and all the guys who make this happen. If I can come every month to Nigeria, I do it because wonderful people and I, I know they love so much football, you know, I used to give them so much pleasure on the pitch and I have to give them, I have to uh, share with these people a lot of things. If you see that it's only in Nigeria you come for the charity game, you see the stadium is full. What we have achieved here is great for Africa, for the young generation and so far these people here were the legend. I, I, I do love them because I share the emotion with them in the pitch, on the TVs and now they are here, we need to share the moment and we need to enjoy and I'm so proud to be here. As long we've been together in the bus, from the bus to the stadium, that may you just it may know you remember your playing days. Our players they enjoy it. That's the most important thing. That you enjoy your job. Uh, this is no more the job, but still this is in the mind that uh, play football. And this is where we draw the curtains onto this edition of Inside Lagos. Don't forget to join us next time for another package. Amadi Doja Salam Adini. See you then. Bye bye.